With over 1,700 pickaxes now in Fortnite and new pickaxes being added every single week, it can be really hard to find the best pickaxes to use in Chapter 5. But today, guys, I'm going to show you 32 pickaxes you need to buy in Fortnite. This list is going to include some try-hard pickaxes and just some of the best pickaxes we've seen in the game over the last few years. So make sure you guys watch all the way through and let me know in the comments down below what pickaxe you were using today. But we have to get started off with the Axe O. This is actually one of the newest pickaxes in the game and it came to the game with the weekend collab this was a brand new collab in chapter 5 this is actually added to celebrate the fortnite festival game mode being added to the game we are going to be seeing a bunch more music artists getting their very own skin and pickaxes in the game as well so i feel like this is really only the beginning of all of these amazing music collabs that we are going to see but for right now this would have to be one of the best i really do like the way this looks i feel like this could be one of the more popular pickaxes moving forward but since it was just added a few weeks ago i feel like it is still really underrated in fortnite today if you guys do want to use a little bit more of an og pickaxe though then we need to talk about the lucky the lucky is one of the oldest pickaxes on this list it was first added back to the game during chapter one season one and you can't pick this up for 500 v bucks what i absolutely love about this though is that there are so many skins that you can pair with this it isn't one of those pickaxes that is only going to work with a few skins this is literally going to work with every single skin in your locker i absolutely love of this i just think it is such an amazing pickaxe and it has still remained quite popular even though it is so old i feel like it has started to drop off in popularity maybe over the last few seasons just because we are getting so many amazing pickaxes added to the game and one of those newer pickaxes would have to be the void's ire this is definitely one of the most recent pickaxes that you can actually get in the game this is really only added a few days ago as well and this was with the void lands bundle i actually really like this i think it is such an underrated pickaxe not too many people really do end up buying these bundles in fortnite they are sort of the quest pack bundles but i think this skin looks really cool and the pickaxe also does look really really sick this is going to be a rare pickaxe in fortnite as well because these quest packs really only get added to the game once and once that season ends you are never going to be able to get it again i don't think this skin is going to be try hard at all but this pickaxe definitely could especially since it does match in with quite a few skins if i had to pick though i feel like there are some better pickaxes in the game and one of my personal favorites is Ray's quarterstaff now this is a star wars crossover pickaxe we don't really see too many star wars pickaxes being popular or try hard in fortnite but Ray's quarterstaff is one of the exceptions to the rule what i love about this is that this doesn't really look like a star wars pickaxe Actually, none of the Star Wars pickaxes look like Star Wars pickaxes. I feel like it would have been really easy for Fortnite to add lightsabers as pickaxes to the game, and they would easily be some of the more popular ones that we do see in the game today. But since they are weapons in Fortnite, it is hard for them to actually add them as pickaxes as well. So that is why we have a bunch of pickaxes that look like Ray's quarterstaff. I'm still a really big fan of this. For 800 V-Bucks, you get a really well-designed pickaxe. It is so detailed and simplistic at the same time, and it is going to work with pretty much every single skin in your locker i feel like that is what really makes a pickaxe good is that it is going to fit in with as many skins as possible so if you are sort of a budget player and don't really own too many skins then you want to be able to buy pickaxes that are going to fit every single skin in your locker and that is why raised quarter staff is the perfect choice if you guys aren't really a fan of star wars though and instead prefer marvel then there is another pickaxe perfect for you and this is lebo's bow this is pretty much identical to Ray's quarterstaff in terms of the shape it is really similar but it does have a custom animation which is really cool it's going to make you guys stand out a little bit more just because of that custom animation in itself but it does also have a really unique color style to it we don't really see too many pickaxes that are pure silver so i feel like this is a really cool pickaxe it might not fit in with as many skins as something like Ray's quarterstaff but i feel like that does give it a little bit of a point of difference and this has also been quite try hard in the past obviously you are going to have to wait until all the marvel items do reappear in the store but it seems like they are reappearing like once or twice every single month so you guys probably don't have to wait too much longer you probably will have to wait a little while though in order to get the bad joke and this is a dc crossover pickaxe i feel like we're on a little bit of a roll here with a bunch of crossover pickaxes but these are just some of the coolest looking pickaxes that we do have in the game i absolutely love the bad joke i think it is such an amazing pickaxe but you did have to buy this 
this in the last laugh bundle, which did cost around $30. It would have been really cool to see Fortnite also introduce some better DC pickaxes to the item shop, but we really only have had a few that ended up being popular, but the bad joke has been one of the best bundle pickaxes I think we have ever seen. I've been a huge fan of this, but obviously not everyone is going to be able to afford the last laugh bundle, which is why this never got the popularity that it deserved. I feel like the other thing really holding this pickaxe back is how unique this actually is. It is so colorful, it has a really funny sound when you swing it as well, so immediately it isn't going to work with all of your favorite skins, and there are probably only 5 or 10 skins in the game that are going to look good with this pickaxe. Let's move forward guys to the number 26 position, and we have the Rihanna Man arm. Again, we are going with a crossover pickaxe. I promise you guys this list isn't all crossover pickaxes, but this is just one of the best. I'm a huge fan of this. This came to the game with the Invincible collab that we got in Season OG as well, which is definitely one of the coolest collabs we've had in a really long time. This is also quite unexpected. Up until this point, Fortnite has really only collaborated with shows that are sort of more kid-oriented. They aren't really too many bloody or gory collabs that we do have in the game, but Invincible was a huge step forward in collaborating with some of those more violent TV shows, and I think the entire Fortnite community absolutely loved this. It is a really cool collab. The skins are definitely a lot better than the pickaxes. I mean, we really only had one pickaxe that was actually designed for the skin, and that was Atom Eve's pickaxe, so I feel like Fortnite could have really done a better job with including a pickaxe that was specifically designed for Omni-Man and Invincible, but regardless, I feel like the Rihanna Man arm is a really cool design. There is just also something funny about using someone else's arm as a pickaxe in the game. I think it's kind of strange, but also really cool at the same time. Let's move on, though, guys, to the number 25 position, and we have the Banana Splitter. This is actually one of the newest pickaxes in the game. It was added with the Adventure Peely skin at the start of Chapter 5, and this was sort of to sell celebrate the introduction of LEGO Fortnite to the game. I really like the way this looks. I think the Banana Splitter did become quite popular when it first got added just because of its unique color style, and since it has been introduced, it has just started to slowly drop off in popularity. This can definitely be changed, though. The Adventure Peely skin is really only featured in the store once, and as it does feature in the store in the future, a lot more people are going to be picking it up, only increasing the popularity of this and hopefully making it more tryhard as well. That takes us though, guys, to the number 24 position, and we have Reverie's Dream Staff. Now, this is a really underrated pickaxe that no one is really talking about. Reverie's Dream Staff is just so, so clean. It was obviously added with the Reverie skin, but I'm sure you guys knew that already. I think this could very easily become one of the more tryhard pickaxes in the game, but it just seems like no one really knows that this pickaxe even exists. It might not fit in with all of your favorite skins, but since the color theme of this is pretty similar to the Star Wand, most of the skins that you guys are using with the Star Wand are probably going to work with Reverie's Dream Staff as well. And since Reverie is actually the starter pack skin in Chapter 5, you guys will be able to buy this pretty much up until Chapter 5 Season 1 ends. It does only cost $4, but I think that is so worth it. It is such a cheap price to pay for a pickaxe this well designed, and I feel like the skin that comes with this is also absolutely incredible. If you guys are a fan of all of these new pickaxes that Fortnite are adding, then it's Another really good one is going to be the Stellar Striker. This is another brand new pickaxe in Fortnite that was introduced with the Sunspot skin. I think this is actually really clean. We haven't really had too many skins added like the Sunspot in the past, and the Stellar Striker is just the perfect pickaxe for this. It does also have two different styles. We sort of have a sun or a hot lava edit style, and then an ice cold or a winter themed style to this as well. It hasn't become tryhard just yet either, so if you are a player that doesn't really care, about using tryhard items, then this is going to be a really good option, but it could also become tryhard in the future, which just makes it a win-win situation for pretty much everyone. If you do want to buy a pickaxe that has already been tryhard in the past, though, then I feel like the Scully Scepter is going to be one of the best options. This is just such an amazing pickaxe. It is basically a redesign of the Star Wand, and it was made even cheaper, coming in at only 500 V-Bucks. They probably could have just added this as an edit style for the Star Wand, but they decided to add this as its own pickaxe, 
I feel like that is sort of holding it back a little bit from becoming as popular as it could be. If this was just an edit style for the Star 1, then most Fortnite players would already have this, but instead they have to spend 500 V-Bucks on a pickaxe that they pretty much already had. One pickaxe that we probably won't see too many people using in the future though is going to be the Frozen Axe. This is an OG pickaxe. It was first added to the game back during Chapter 1, and it was actually part of the Frozen Legends bundle. We got a bunch of amazing items in this bundle, but I feel like the Frozen Axe is sort of overlooked. We don't really see that many people using it, and this bundle doesn't really return to the store that often. But if you are a player that wants to use a bunch of items that no one else is really using, then you really do want to wait for this to be added back to the game. We did actually see it occurring in the store a few weeks ago for Winterfest as well, so hopefully if you guys were waiting for this pickaxe to reappear in the store, you did end up buying it then, but chances are you might have to wait until Winterfest of 2024. One pickaxe that you guys definitely need to own though is the trusty number two and since you'll never be able to buy it again hopefully you guys did end up buying it when it was first available back during chapter one season three you could actually buy this in the battle pass for 950 v bucks it was such an amazing pickaxe i just absolutely loved the way this looked and i cannot think of a better pickaxe to use with the john wick skin obviously if you guys are looking for a brand new pickaxe to use then there might be another john wick related pickaxe coming up very soon but i feel like the trusty number two is always going to go down as one of the best pickaxes we have ever seen. That takes us though guys to the number 19 position and we have Donnie's Bowstaff. Donnie's Bowstaff is one of the more underrated pickaxes that we do have in Chapter 5. It was just added with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles collab and this was definitely one of the more unexpected collabs we had in the game. I feel like this was a really clean pickaxe though. Mikey's Nunchucks was also really really sick but this is just a little bit better and I'm going to explain why. Firstly it has the same custom animation as LeBeau's bow and that pickaxe definitely became quite popular and try hard so I feel like the same could happen with this pickaxe as well it does also have a really unique color style to it so it's going to make you guys stand out a bunch which is why I feel like this is a really good pickaxe to buy today it will also be reappearing in the store very very soon because a lot of these brand new collab items do feature in the store quite often so I feel like this is really only a matter of days before it does feature in the store again one collab pickaxe that might take a little bit longer though is going to be the slasher this is added to the game in Fortnite Mares of 2023, and it is the pickaxe design for the Michael Myers skin. Michael Myers was one of the most anticipated skins to be added to Fortnite, and it has been one of the best Fortnite Mares skins we have ever seen, so it makes sense that this pickaxe was really good as well. You can actually pick this up for only 800 V-Bucks. It might be a little bit expensive for how simplistic this pickaxe actually is, but you could also get it cheaper if you did buy it in a bundle with the Michael Myers skin. I love the way this looks. It is going to fit in with every single skin in your locker regardless of if they are try hard or not and i really think this could be one of the best pickaxes that we do see ever being added to the game it just might not reappear in the store that often but one pickaxe it definitely has is going to be the vault guardian this is actually cheaper than the slasher pickaxe coming in at only 500 v bucks i feel like this also fits in with every single skin in your locker and we have had so many amazing crowbar pickaxes added back to the game over the last few seasons but the vault guardian would have to be one of the best you could also unlock this for free if you did complete some challenges back with the gold-blooded ace that was added to the game at the start of chapter four but if you are like me and just wanted to buy your way through that pass you could end up actually doing it and you now can can buy this in the item shop for only 500 V bucks. This was really popular during chapter four, but it has started to drop off now in chapter five. But one big axe that has definitely gained popularity in chapter five is the Poacher's Regret. This is actually part of the battle pass, and these are the pickaxes designed for Oscar. I really like the Oscar skin, so I really love these pickaxes as well. I would have loved to see some more color styles for it. I feel like that is really the only thing holding this pickaxe back. And of course, a lot of people do end up actually preferring to use the more traditional pickaxes in Fortnite and that basically just means the default style pickaxes with no custom animation and no dual handed pickaxes so when we are talking about a dual handed pickaxe it probably just won't get the popularity that it deserves because it is a little bit more unique and different to some of the more original pickaxes that Fortnite fans absolutely love. One pickaxe that does have this design though is going to be the snow globe smasher and this is definitely one of the best pickaxes to buy in Fortnite because you don't even 
even need to buy it. This is a free pickaxe that you could unlock during Winterfest in 2023, and it might even return in Winterfest of 2024 as well. This was a free pickaxe, and all you had to do in order to get this was just complete some challenges. It was super easy. If you guys did play during Winterfest, I'm sure you already have this. It is going to be a really good pickaxe. It might not be the best pickaxe that we ever see, but the fact that it was free just makes it even better. And if you are a fan of Winterfest and Winterfest skins, then this is going to be the perfect pickaxe to use with this. I love the way this looks. I feel like it could be one pickaxe that does feature in the store in the future as well, especially as we move towards Winterfest 2024, but that is still like 12 months away. So we don't really need to talk about that just yet. One pickaxe that we can definitely start talking about though is the driver. And that is because this will probably be featuring in the store as you guys are watching this video. The driver seems to feature in the item shop like once every week, which is just so insane. It is one of the most loved pickaxes of all time, and it has a price of only 500 V-Bucks. It is so, so cheap. I think that is really just showing you guys how good this actually is. It is going to work with all of your favorite skins as well because it is so simplistic, and it is hard to find a pickaxe that is better than this. It is going to fit in with every single skin that you guys do own as well, which just makes it even better. We need to move on though to a pickaxe. I prefer just a little bit more, and this is the gold crow. We did talk about the Vault Guardian a little bit earlier on, but it is hard to go past how good the gold crow actually is. It is a little bit more expensive because you did have to buy it in the shadow pickaxe bundle, which did cost 1,200 V-Bucks, but I feel like it was still worth it because you actually got three pickaxes in that bundle. The gold crow just fits in with so many amazing skins. We have so many golden themed skins now in the game as well, so it is good to have a pickaxe that is going to match it perfectly, and that is exactly what the gold crow does. It definitely has started to drop off over the last few seasons though, and another pickaxe that has also started to fall off is the Reaper. Now, the Reaper is always going to be one of my favorite pickaxes in Fortnite. It was actually first added back during Chapter 1, Season 1, so it is one of the most OG pickaxes we are ever going to see, and Fortnite also could have made this one of the most tried hard pickaxes in the game by keeping it as a season one exclusive pickaxe but unfortunately they decided to add this back to the item shop a bunch to the point where it has just been one of the most common pickaxes in the store. I still really love this though. I feel like it is perfect for OG players as well. So if you are an OG player of Fortnite, this is probably a pickaxe you already own. There is a pickaxe that I do prefer just slightly more, and this is going to be Catwoman's Grappling Claw. Now this might not be everyone's favorite pickaxe because it is quite big and bulky, but I am just a huge fan of the way this looks. It is hard to find a crossover pickaxe that is better than Catwoman's Grappling Claw, as as soon as I saw this being added to the game, I thought it was going to be one of the most tryhard and popular pickaxes we had ever seen, but it never really got the popularity that it deserved. I feel like as we moved through chapter two, a lot more people started to realize how good this actually was, and it started to gain the popularity that I thought it should have had when it first got added to the game. But here we are in chapter five, and I feel like this is still one of the most underrated pickaxes. One pickaxe that has been a lot more tryhard than this though has to be the Cold Snap. The Cold Snap was added to the game with Clix's Locker Bundle. Now, as you guys know, Clix is one of the most popular Fortnite streamers in the world and one of the best Fortnite players as well. So when it was announced that he was getting his very own Locker Bundle, I feel like whatever he included in it was going to become popular and try hard almost straight away. This is definitely one of the coolest ones though. I absolutely love the way this looks and I feel like it just has been such an amazing pickaxe. And even though it is starting to drop off in popularity, it is still really hard to find a pickaxe that you guys are going to love more than this. That takes us though guys to the number nine position and we have the Gun Swinger. The Gun Swinger is such an amazing pickaxe and it was actually added to the game quite recently with the Gilded Elites bundle. Now the Gilded Elites bundle is a really unique bundle in Fortnite. It does cost quite a bit but I still feel like it is worth it because this is one of the coolest bundles we have seen in a while. It includes a bunch of golden themed skins but the pickaxes also look really clean. The Gun Swinger is a really unique pickaxe in Fortnite because we don't really have too many other pickaxes that look like this. And if you guys did miss out on buying something like the Vault Guardian or the Gold Crow or any of the other golden themed pickaxes, then this is just going to be one of the best ones to get. Obviously, because it was part of a bundle, it is quite expensive, but there is another pickaxe that might be a little bit better and this is going to be the Icebreaker. This is also a lot cheaper coming in at only 500 V-Bucks. I think this is one of the best pickaxes Fortnite has ever introduced and it is really only getting better as well. It is going to fit in 
with literally every single skin in your locker. So if you guys don't already have this, then this is just a pickaxe you absolutely need to buy. It does feature in the store more often than pretty much every other pickaxe on this list as well, probably at least once or twice a week, which is just so insane. But we need to move on guys to the number seven position and we have the Lovelorn pickaxe. The Lovelorn pickaxe is just a personal favorite. It does hitch back around $4 and it is one of the best pickaxes Fortnite has ever introduced. It is basically an item shop version of the Axe of Champions, which is one of the rarest and most exclusive pickaxes in the game. So I feel like if you are a competitive fan and you feel like you might not actually get the opportunity to use the Axe of Champions, then this is going to be a really good alternative. I love the way this looks so much. It is so, so good and it is just one of my all-time favorite pickaxes, but we need to move on to one of the other best pickaxes in the game, and this is the Candy Axe. The Candy Axe is also one of the most OG pickaxes that we do have in the game, but it does have its downside as well, and that is pretty much that this is a 1,500 V-Buck pickaxe. It is one of the most expensive pickaxes we have in the game. It is just so, so overpriced, and I have no idea why Fortnite hasn't really addressed this. We don't see any pickaxes being added to the game today that do have a price of 1,500 V-Bucks. I just think that is so insane. I feel like Fortnite really could have reduced this or added in more styles to make this more affordable, but we just haven't seen that yet. So hopefully that is something that Fortnite does in the future. Let's move on the guys to the number five position and we have the Scratcher. The Scratcher is one of the coolest looking pickaxes in the game. The Scratcher is actually a battle pass pickaxe as well. And you can pick this up for only 950 V-Bucks. I love the way this looks. It is one of my favorite pickaxes we have seen in a really long time. And since it's Peter Griffin's pickaxe, it just makes it even better. I mean, Peter Griffin is already one of the coolest skins in the game. So whenever they added a pickaxe that also fits in with this theme, I feel like that was always going to be really, really sick. But the scratcher just made this even better. I'm a huge fan of this. Obviously, it is a little bit of a grind in order to unlock it. But I'm sure if you guys are a fan of the way this looks, you probably already have it. One pickaxe that might be a a little bit more underrated today though would have to be Wix Katana. Wix Katana is actually one of the newest pickaxes in the game, even though it was added for a skin that has been in the game since chapter one. If you guys didn't know during chapter five, John Wick actually got updated with some brand new edit styles and this made a skin that was already very good, just even better. I love the way this looks so, so much. Wix Katana for only 500 V-Bucks as well is an absolute bargain. So I hope you guys did end up buying this and hopefully you guys have seen how good this is as well. But there are definitely some better collab pickaxes in the game and one of them has to be the Harley Hitter. The Harley Hitter is an 800 V-Buck pickaxe that was added to the game with Rebirth Harley Quinn back during Chapter 2 Season 1. It is such an amazing pickaxe. I would have loved to see some more edit styles for this though, which is probably the only downside for this and it doesn't seem like that is going to be something that Fortnite does add in the future. If they did though, that would easily make this one of the best pickaxes we have ever seen. I've been using it a bunch though it is going to work with all of your favorite skins and honestly i feel like this might be one of the best pickaxes to buy today and unlike a lot of other collab pickaxes that we do have in the game the harley hitter does actually feature in the store quite often so if you guys don't already have it you will be able to buy it very very soon that takes us to the number two position guys and we have to include the star wand the star wand is just such an amazing pickaxe it is hard to find a pickaxe that has been more try hard than this in the past and honestly a lot of people think this is the most try hard pickaxe we have ever seen. For 800 V-Bucks, you are only getting a pickaxe with one style, but honestly, I feel like that's enough. It is just so, so good. And as we have already seen over the last few years, it is going to fit in with every single skin in your locker, regardless of if it is try hard, a casual skin, a big meme skin, or basically any skin we have ever seen in the game, chances are someone has used the style font with it. I love this so, so much. I think it is one of the best pickaxes you can buy in the game today, and that's not going to change anytime soon. But finally, guys, we have to move on to the number one position, and this is the Leviathan Axe. Yes, guys, the Leviathan Axe is without a doubt one of the best pickaxes we have ever seen, and I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. I absolutely love the way this looks. It has just been so popular in the past as well, and considering 
considering this is only featured in the item shop once, I feel like that just adds to how good this actually is. I love this pickaxe so, so much. I am always going to love this as well. And if you guys don't already have it, then you definitely need to buy it. Unfortunately, that's sort of where there is a problem with this. It is only featured in the item shop once. So if you guys haven't already got this, chances are you're going to be waiting a really long time in order to get it and it might never actually return. I would love for this to be added back though. I love it so, so much, and I'm sure you guys will as well. But there you guys go. That is my list talking about 32 pickaxes you need to buy today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and make sure to let me know which pickaxe is your favorite in the comments down below.